Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to calculate the mass defect and binding energy. Before we begin, if you are new to my science tutorials, kindly consider subscribing and pressing that notification button so that you don't miss any of our latest tutorials on biology, chemistry, mathematics and physics. So let's begin. Now we want to start by looking at what the nucleus of an atom. Now the nucleus of an atom contains two particles known as what the protons and neutrons. So we have the protons and we also have what the neutrons. Making what the nucleus of an atom. Now the protons carries a positive charge whilst the neutrons has what no charge. Therefore making the net charge on the nucleus of an atom to be what positive. Now Every atom has what we call the atomic number, atomic number, denoted by what Z, and the mass number, mass number, denoted by what, denoted by A. Now, what is the atomic number, what is the mass number? Now, the atomic number is the total number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. So, our atomic number is what? The total number of protons. Total number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Now, in the case of what? Neutral atoms where the number of protons and the number of what? Electrons are the same. Then atomic number can also be what? The total number of what? Electrons of what? An atom. That is for what? For neutral, for neutral what atoms, or for, for neutral compounds or elements. Now, the mass number on the other hand is the sum of what the number of protons and neutrons of an atom. It is also called what the nucleon number. Let me take that again. So the mass number is the sum of what sum of what protons protons and neutrons and neutrons of an atom so it means from here if you want to get the number of just the number of neutrons okay let me denote that by and the number of neutrons it means i need to subtract the atomic number from the mass number which becomes what which becomes what a minus z because atomic now sorry the mass number is the sum of what both the protons and the neutrons okay so if we need just the neutron we need to subtract what the atomic number which is just the number of protons from the mass number to get what the neutron number all right so with this basic introduction it means we can represent the atom okay atom can be represented let's say x and then we have a at the top and then z over here now the a at the superscript over here is what we are saying what the mass number the mass number and then the z at the bottom over here or the subscript is what we are calling what the atomic number so this is just a representation of what the atom all right now let's look at what mass defect and binding energy. Now the mass of a nucleus is always what less than the sum of the individual particles that combines to make what that combines to make the nucleus. Let me take that again. The mass of a nucleus. The mass of a nucleus. Okay, is always less than. Okay, the individual particles. Individual particles. Particles that comes together what to make the nucleus of what the atom now the difference between That of the nucleus and then its individual particles is called what the mass defect Let me take that again our mass defect which we denote by what Delta M as the mass defect Okay Is the difference between what the mass of the nucleus of the atom and then its individual particles that come together to make what the nucleus of the atom now 
the mass and energy are related by Einstein's mass and energy equation that is what e is equal to delta m c squared where our e is what the binding energy is the binding energy our delta m is the mass defect that we are talking about or the difference between what the mass of the nucleus and then its constituent particles and then c is the velocity of light is the velocity of light now what then is what the binding energy now the binding energy over here this is the minimum amount of energy needed to split the nucleus into what its constituent particles let me take that again the binding energy okay of the atom is the what the minimum amount of energy that you need to split what the constituent of the nucleus apart from each other okay now the binding energy like i said is the e over here and it is related to what the mass defect by the einstein's mass equation formula Einstein's mass energy equation energy equation now with all this said how can we calculate the mass defect okay what is the equation for us to use to find what the mass defect of what a nucleus of an atom now the mass defect delta m of what any particular uh, nucleus or an atom is given by the formula the atomic number z mp plus n mn minus what m okay where our delta m is the mass defect as we know so our mass defect our z is what our atomic number atomic number our mp over here is the mass of what proton mass of proton our n is what the neutron number neutron number or the number of neutron neutrons in the atom okay our mn is the mass of what neutron the mass of what neutron and then our m the final m that we have over here is what the mass of the what the atom mass of what of the atom so with this formula we can calculate the mass defect of an atom and then with the einstein's mass energy equation we can find what the binding energy of the atom so let's have a look at some few examples so example number one we have to calculate the mass defect and the binding energy of what oxygen given the following that is we have the mass of proton to be what 1.0075 unified atomic mass unit that is the u over here then the mass of neutron is 1.0087 u mass of oxygen is given one electron volt is also given and then the energy okay the binding energy formula is also given over there all right so let's go ahead and have a look at how we have to solve this problem so let's write down our solution all right so first of all we need to calculate the mass defect that is what delta m and to find that delta m is what z m p plus what n m n minus what m okay now our z okay is the eight that we have over here or the atomic number of the atom oxygen so it's eight now our n over here is the neutron number okay now the neutron number we need to subtract the atomic number from the mass number to get it so it becomes what 16 minus 8 which is also what equal to 8 now our mass of proton is given to us which is this 
mass of neutron is also given to us and then the mass of the oxygen or the atom is also given to us so from here we can find delta m easily which becomes what 8 into bracket mp is what 1.0075 plus another 8 which is what the neutron number over here multiplied by what mass of neutron is what 1.0087 then minus 15.9949 okay so the mass defect is equal to now if you multiply it by 1.0075 we get what 8.06 plus another this will give us what 8.0696 then minus 15.9949 so delta m is equal to this two will give us what 16.1296 so we have 16.1296 minus what 15.9949 so our mass defect over here becomes what 0 0.1347 u all right so now that we have our mass defect we can calculate what the binding energy over here so the binding energy the question is giving us as this so our energy e is equal to what 931 times 10 raised to the power 6 delta m which is what the mass defect that we found and then what ev one electron volt it means our energy is now what 931 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 then multiplied by our mass defect which is what 0.1347 okay then multiply by what one electron volt and then one electron volt is what 1.6 times 10 raised to the power negative 19 joules so if we multiply that as well with it we get um yes so we get our energy to be what 20.064912 times 10 raised to the power negative 12 joules which we can rewrite just as what 2.0064912 times 10 to the power negative 11 that is um we we brought the uh the dot or the decimal over here so that we add one to the um the exponent that we have over here so this becomes joules so our binding energy for this example for this example our binding energy is what 2.0064912 times 10 to the power negative 11 joules all right so let's have a look at another example so example number two we are to determine the mass defect of what argon in kilograms given that we have the mass of proton to be this mass of neutron also given mass of the atom and then one electron volt also given so let's go ahead and write down our solution so we know for us to find the mass defect delta m is what zmp plus what nmn minus what m now our z which is the atomic number is the 18 that we have over here so we have 18 our n over here is the neutron number which is what we need to subtract the atomic number from the mass number over here so it becomes 40 minus 18 which Will give us what uh, 22 22 over here and then we have all the other parameters already in the question so from here we simply just do the substitution and then we get our answer so we have 18 multiplied by the mass of proton is what 1.00813 plus the neutron number is now 22 multiplied by 1.00893 minus the mass of the atom which is what 39.97505 unified atomic mass unit so uh, our delta m becomes what if we punch everything here into the calculator we are going to get what 0 0.36775 u but But one u, okay, one u. Sorry, this is uh, 
this is not supposed to be an electron volt it's supposed to be one u but one u is what 1.66 times 10 raised to the power negative 27 kilograms okay so if we know that our unified atomic mass unit or our unified amu which is the unit of the mass defect is what 1.66 times 10 raised to the power negative 27 kilograms then we can easily find what the mass defect in kilograms for the uh, the atom argon so our mass defect now becomes what this which is 0 0.36775 multiplied by what 1.66 times 10 raised to the power negative 27 kilograms so our mass defect becomes what 6.104 Six five times ten raised to the power negative twenty eight kilogram as the mass defect for the element or the atom argon over here. All right, so let's have a look at one final example. So we are to calculate in joules the binding energy of what lithium with the atomic number of three and then the mass number of seven. Given that the mass of proton is this, mass of neutron is also given. The mass of the atom which is lithium is also given one electron volt is given and then our unified atomic mass unit u is given as what 931 mega electron volt all right so let's go ahead and solve for our binding energy all right so uh let's write down our solution first of all we need to calculate the mass defect so um, our mass defect is what delta m is equal to z mp plus n mn minus m but our z over here is 3 our n is what 7 minus 3 which is what 4 and then all the other parameters are given so our mass defect becomes what 3 into bracket 1.00783 plus 4 into bracket 1.0086 then minus what 7.016 so if we punch everything into the calculator over here we get our mass defects to be 0 0.04189 u now our energy okay if for us to find our energy, our energy is what 931 mega electron volt times what the mass defect. Okay, that is to say what our energy is just what U. Okay, the U, the mass, the mass defect over here what multiplied by what the U. Okay, and then the U is given to us by what 931 mega electron volt. So we just multiply that by what the mass uh the mass defect and we get our energy so with that our e or our binding energy is equal to what 931 times the m over here is mega which is what times 10 raised to the power what six so we have 10 raised to the power six multiplied by one electron volt is what 1.6 times 10 raised to the power what negative 19 joules then multiplied by what our mass defect our mass defect as we've calculated over here is what 0 0.04189 so finally our what our binding energy for this example is what 6.24 times 10 raised to the power what negative 12 joules so thank you so much for watching this is just a brief introduction to what nuclear phases and how we calculate mass defect and binding energy so thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye